Hi friends, welcome to Meals with Maria. Today we are working with a favorite pantry staple, macaroni and cheese. I have three complete meals for you. I'm talking, we have vegetables, we have protein, and we have macaroni and cheese because what's a meal without that? I was so shocked and surprised at how good the recipes could be when you just take a box of macaroni and cheese, which this is 32 cents at Walmart, by the way, and then add a few things that you already maybe have in your pantry or your fridge to that, and you have a complete dinner or lunch that tastes delicious. Half the time you wouldn't even realize, wow, this is from a box of mac and cheese. Saves you tons of money because your main item is so inexpensive and wows everybody. So I'm so excited to share these recipes with you. Check them out. So as expected, each of these recipes is gonna start off with one box of macaroni and cheese. And for some reason I ended up with the thick and creamy kind from Walmart, but it does not matter what time you have, as long as you have the orange cheese one, you don't want like the white cheddar shells. I don't think that that would, I mean, actually, I think it would still be delicious. It would just be a little different. So I can't vouch for the taste on that and the design of the recipes. They are really designed to be working with your orange mac and cheese. So you just want to follow the directions on the back of the box when you're making your macaroni and cheese and for this recipe it's going to be as simple as adding a can of tuna and a little bit of peas to it now you could go a step further and maybe even add some spinach if you have some like frozen or fresh spinach just make sure you wilt that down you could put that in there you could add a can of chicken even i think chicken with some peas would be delicious in this as well the great thing is this is something that you can make off of all shelf stable pantry items so it's not something you need to have on hand and even like the milk you can have shelf stable milk and you'll be ready to go and i have many many a time if i don't have butter or margarine to put in my mac and cheese just substitute it either for a little bit of oil or just put Put extra milk in or if I don't have milk just put extra butter in and the macaroni and cheese takes it very well it is a very versatile meal option so once you add that tuna in there you want to make sure you drain that can or if you have like a tuna and oil I haven't tried that but it could be delicious and it probably would add a little extra calories if you are looking for inexpensive calorie boosting items. Then I added about a half a cup of peas. I had just cooked these according to the package. They were frozen peas. You could also use canned peas if you have them on hand and mix that well together. This was so shockingly delicious. And it's almost like, I remember a while back, my friends were into what they called, I think it was like tuna surprise or tuna noodle casserole, but I think it was called tuna surprise. And it's basically like mayonnaise, tuna, pasta, and any other veggies you can cut up in there. And it's it's really, really good. It's actually a great lunch. So this is kind of like a warm macaroni and cheese tuna surprise. And I was shocked and surprised and excited that my son Julian, who is obsessed with macaroni and cheese for lunch, liked this tuna with the addition of the peas. And I'm very, very happy about that because now he's going to not only have his macaroni and cheese, which I was always a little bit nervous about, you know, the nutritional content. He's also going to have some protein and some vegetables. Good. Mmm. Delicious, huh? Yeah. You gonna have that every day now? Yeah. 100. <laughs> The next recipe is another one full of pantry staples. Again, you don't have to buy anything that is gonna be perishable. You can just throw this together off of things you usually already have in your pantry. You want one cup of salsa, and I used like a medium salsa, and I'll tell you that the bite in that was actually perfect with this. But again, if you wanna like feed it to younger children, you may wanna go with mild. Then one can of canned corn, and I realized that wasn't gonna fit in my pot. So <laughs> we had to mix this in a larger container. Make sure to drain your canned corn and then also drain and rinse a can of black beans. And you wanna mix all of that together. And this makes just a fabulous little Mexican dish or flavor or taste. You could even add in like a little bit of garlic powder or onion powder if you want to, but I didn't do that. And I thought the flavor was great. I think that salsa really gives you all of the flavor that you need in this. And then you can serve this either with some sour cream and scallions. That's what I opted to do. You could put some fresh shredded cheddar over the top of it or some maybe queso fresco really make it your own i think a little cilantro would be good over this too or just plain as it is is just fine as well there are so many choices and options for this and this is just like this surprise like mexican style casserole that you can do so easily so quickly and so inexpensive
All right, this next meal is a little bit hardier. It is a cheeseburger skillet casserole, and you wanna start with a pound of ground beef or ground turkey. And we're gonna start cooking our macaroni and cheese at the same time as well. All of these are awesome. They just start with the basic macaroni and cheese recipe, and then you add stuff to it. So I'm cooking up a pound of ground beef with, it's probably about a quarter cup of onions. You could do a whole onion if you have one. I happened to be out this specific day, so I was cutting up the last of my onions and needed to get to the store. You just wanna brown that ground beef until everything's fully cooked, and at the same time, you can cook your pasta. At this point, add in one 16 ounce container of frozen mixed vegetables, a third a cup of ketchup, one quarter cup of water, half a teaspoon of prepared mustard, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Mix well to combine and then let that simmer for about 10 minutes until your vegetables are fully cooked through. After 10 minutes, add in your fully mixed and ready macaroni and cheese and about three quarters of a cup of shredded cheddar. Mix everything well until well combined and you have your cheeseburger skillet. This was absolutely delicious. My husband later said, he was like, it reminded me of something. It kind of reminded me of Burger King. And I was like, that's because it had ketchup and mustard in it. It was an actual cheeseburger skillet. And he didn't realize that. So I, I think that the flavors came through when it comes to like, it's a cheeseburger in a pasta. Anyway, it was, it was quite good and it was a great thing to feed a family really quickly and make sure that they get a little bit of everything, but also you have that like kid factor of the macaroni and cheese, which makes everybody happy. I wanna thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you like learning some new macaroni and cheese recipes and you use these for your family. They are so quick and easy. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. You were thinking about it, you keep seeing my videos. I'm putting out content three times a week, all great budget meals. So don't forget to hit that as well as the notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you love videos like this with pantry staples, I also did an amazing mashed potato, like instant mashed potato recipe video that I think you will love. I'm gonna put it up at the end of this video. Make sure to click on that so you can check out more pantry staple recipes.